Welcome to Star Sector folks, I'm a nerdy old gamer, or NOG for short, and today we're starting a brand new series on Star Sector here. Now, I've played the game a little bit, not very much, uh, so uh, I'm probably not that good at it. Uh, well, if you don't know Star Sector, Star Sector is a game where you have a fleet that you fly around in, in space, and you go to missions for some factions and you can uh, colonize planets and stuff like that. It's quite hard. You, with your fleet, you can either decide to autopilot uh, all your ships or you can decide to pilot one of your ships yourself and fly that around and, and do combat uh, personally in that while you have all your other ships uh, on autopilot uh, doing uh, backing you up and if we say that Han Solo is probably well he is hands down the best pilot in the galaxy then I'm probably at the polar opposite of that scale so uh, I am going to try and pilot myself but I really am not very good at it so let's start a new game uh, we will call ourselves uh, Nog Solo and choose a person here I guess I'll go with this guy we'll start in a mixed sector normal size and we have the seed here so you can use that and then we will continue now, there are several different ways of starting. We can start as a bounty hunter in a small wolf class uh, frigate. You can start as a scavenger, uh, commanding a wayfarer class combat freighter. Uh, or we can start in an apogee class cruiser. That's a big ship. Uh, it's an easier start, I would say. And then we can start as a mercenary in a hammerhead class destroyer. Or a freelancer which is randomized we are going to go with uh, a bounty hunter and in addition to our wolf class frigate we will take the kite class shuttle here under the command of an experienced subordinate we could also do the shepherd class drone tender with some heavy machinery which we need for uh, surveying planets and stuff like that but I think we'll go with the kite and an experienced subordinate. We'll go with normal difficulty. Uh, so I'm not a first time player, but I am a new player. But uh, hopefully it'll be fine. And we won't start with the tutorial. Tutorial will take you through a few uh, easy missions, uh, get you a few more ships and stuff like that. But we'll skip the tutorial and not go with that now here's our skill tree so you have four different areas that you can level up in combat leadership technology and industry and in order to level up you first need to for instance put a pip in here in technology and then you can start leveling these guys up uh, the different abilities so we could uh, do something like that, which is what we're going to go with. Uh, but if we take a look here, now I can only put one pip into navigation. If I put another one in here, then when I get the level up, I'd be able to put another one in here. So you really need to consider where you want to put your skills. Your max level is 50. So there is a limit to, to how much you can learn and you can't learn everything. And it's certainly not at any level that would make sense. So we are going to start here in leadership and get uh, maximum flux capacitors plus 20%. Flux is basically heat. So when in combat, you will generate heat when you're firing your weapons and stuff like that. And the more flux capacitors you have, you can have, the more uh, heat or flux your ship can take. Also, we will take uh, navigation, 
which is a minus 30% terrain movement penalty from all applicable terrain. So when you're flying around in the galaxy, there are clouds that you uh, can fly into and stuff like that. And when you fly into a cloud, you fly a little bit slower. So hopefully, I, I think that's what this means. So let's start the game. All right, loading up and saving up. And saving frequently is highly advised in this game. So here's our little uh, fleet. If we click F, we can see we are flying this uh, Wolf class uh, custom frigate, which has the special ability or system phase skimmer, which teleports the ship forward in the direction it's traveling. Uh, it has uh, one medium energy mount, two small missile mounts, and three small energy mounts. Uh, on those we have a pulse laser, an ion cannon, two uh, point defense lasers, and two swarmer SR SRM launchers, missile launchers. And we have a hull mount, which is blast doors. So, and this is us, we have ourselves here commanding uh, the ship. Over here we have our kite, which has maneuvering jets, which Produce, provides a brief boost to maneuverability and top speed. It has one small ballistic mount and two small missile mounts. And we have a uh, light dual auto cannon, some Salamander MRM, and Swarmer SRM uh, missiles. And it has militarized subsystems. The kite comes with a civilian hull, so putting militarized subsystems on, on it will allow it to move a bit faster. We have our Lieutenant Rio Morin here, and he is has a steady personality, and he has damage control and impact mitigation as uh, combat-related skills. So very good. We have thirty-two thousand credits uh, to start off with, which is not a lot, and we'll go and spend some of them right away. I think so. We have the cargo screen here. We're going to need some supplies, uh, but let's have a look at fleets. We can buy fleets here, or buy ships here. So you have the open market, and then we have hegemony, uh, I think it's pronounced hegemony. Uh, military, uh, this is a hegemony faction base we're at. And then we have the black market, market which is where you want to do most of your shopping. But let's have a look and see what they have here. They have an Enforcer, a Sunder. Now up here, some of the ships have indicators up here. There's one pip here, there's three pips here. And this is uh, damage modifiers. So if we look at the Sunder here, uh, at the bottom it says hull mods. It has degraded engines, structural damage, and glitched sensor arrays. So it's got some permanent damage, which is not very good. So, and we can't afford this stuff up here anyway. We could afford another wolf, but I'm guessing there aren't really weapons here to put on it. We have a combat freighter, which might be nice. And a kite. Mud skipper, which is civilian transport. They can carry more people than, uh, than they need. So they have a maximum crew of 100. But they only need five, so they're quite useful when you want to go survey and stuff. And then there's a tanker, which uh, will hold extra fuel. Let's have a look at the black market. The gremlin there would, would be nice, but we can't afford it. So here we can see the wolf costs 15,650 credits on the black market. If we go to the open market, the same ship costs 20,345. Well, uh, this is a Wolf H, which means, well, I don't really know, uh, hege hegemony uh, design type. So it has one medium energy, two small missile, and three small energy. Uh, this one over here is not a hegemony 
It's a high-tech design type. It has the same mounts though. All right. I don't think we're going to buy a ship right now because if we go to refit and take a look at our ship here, we can see what we have. We have a pulse laser. Actually, there are some decent weapons here. We could we have a pulse laser on there. Then we have swarm SRM launchers. There are none of those, but we could put on some uh, hammer class torpedoes or maybe the Sabbat SRMs for anti-shield. The pulse laser is general, so that does 100% to shields and armor and hull. Whereas if we take a look at, for instance, our swarmer here, uh, they are high explosive, so they do 200% versus armor and 50% versus shields. And then we have a couple of small point defense lasers back here, which we actually, there are some here. So you know what? We're going to buy a ship. So black market, buy, we'll buy another wolf. Okay. And we'll head over to the refit screen here. So we want a pulse laser. We want hmm. So missiles have limited ammo. So we want we preferably would like something with more than one ammo. There isn't really the hammer class torpedoes have two. We'll take those. They are high explosive. And we have a small energy turret here. Um, hmm. I think we'll go with the IR pulse laser. Or do we want to go with the iron cannon? Let's go with the iron cannon. And then for here, we want like defense. We'll grab these two long-range uh, point defense lasers. That's all the the uh, weapons put in. I think we'll put a flux coil on this. Or maybe a flux distributor. So flux distributor allows us to dissipate flux faster when we uh, vent. The flux coil adjunct allows us to uh, build up more uh, flux before we get uh, overloaded and incapacitated. We'll go with the flux coil adjuncts, I think, and then we'll put some capacitors on and some vents on. So something like that. All right. So we have another ship here. Now, if we go to our fleet, oh, uh, adjust weapon groups. This is not important if you're not gonna pilot it yourself, but if you are going to pilot it yourself, it's important that you set up your uh, weapon groups. Uh, uh, I, this looks fine, I guess. Um, yeah. Let's head over to the fleet. I want that over here, and I want you to pilot that. So we have two uh, Wolf-class frigates now. That's not a bad start. We have a little bit of money left. So let's go buy some supplies. Well, we'll not sell them. And here you can see if we want to buy on the open market, let's just uh, take some. We are paying a tariff of 30%. So we're paying way more for our supplies than we need. So we can go to the black market and that tariff will go away. So we'll buy a little bit of supplies and some fuel. Uh, actually, some more fuel, I think. How much can we carry? 110. No, we can... 
We can carry 55. And that's it. So, uh, do we have enough people? We do, but I think I'll take 10 more in case we find some ships. So, confirm that, and that leaves us with 9,730 uh, left. Let's see if we do this. I don't want to build up uh, to fill up our cargo holds. We have 100 of 130. Uh, used on our cargo holds we have 60 of nine a possible 90 crew and we have a full uh, tank 55 of 55 now if we go to intel there are some missions here that we can go and do so we can go and analyze the derelict slip derelict ship but that's way too far away we are over here in the center world, so let's just uh, go on, on the map and have a look. So here is the core of the galaxy, and we have a quite large galaxy that we can go explore in. So all of these worlds, or most of them, these galaxies or these uh, star systems, are uh, occupied, you might say. They are uh, civilized. They, some factions have set up base there. So in this uh, Sagan star system, for instance, we have a uh, Persian League, Arid World, and we have another, and we have the Independence, which is also a faction of sorts. So we have the Persian League on two worlds there, and the Independence on one. We go to Hypasil, then we have a Tritachion there, and some Independence, and there are also some Pirates. At Corvus, where we are now, there's a hegemony and some independent and some pirates. So let's jump back to Intel. Now, actually, no, let's uh, go back to the map. Now, if we click on here, we can see our fuel range. So we can go this far and get back again. We can go this far and not get back again. And Running out of fuel in space is, uh, let's just say, bad. So, yeah. All right, Intel. Bounties. Uh, so we have here in Corvus, where we are, we have uh, 1,650 credit base reward per frigate for 59 days. So... And we can take out Pirates, Tritachion, Persian League, and Lodic Path. Now, Tritachion and Persian League, Persian League I don't want to fight. Lodic Path, uh, I don't mind fighting. Pirates, uh, well, we don't really have a choice. Uh, now, there are also some contracts here. So there's a personal bounty for 48,000. Uh, but she has... Up three wolves and a standard combat freighter. I don't think we'd be able to do her. And this is not all her ships necessarily. We can we know she has that, but she might have more. And probably does. And you can see her ships here are really damaged. So what five pips, three, three, two pips. We might be able to do this, but I don't think so. I think we're going to hang around Corvus, maybe. Uh, exploration, we have the uh, uh, derelict ship, and then we have analyze or survey a barren world. All the way up here. We're not going to go all the way up there right now. And we can't even carry the crew needed to, to do it. So, yeah. We will uh, hang around in Corvus and see what is here let's head down to the bar so there's a concerned man here and he wants us to take 80 units of organics to olinado which is 6.6 .6 light years away but we can't even carry that we only have 35 units of cargo and he pays six thousand for that but we can't do that right now because we don't have the space. So let's leave and uh, take a look at the map here. You open the map by hitting tab. Oh, by the way, 
The game is not available on Steam or anywhere else. It's only available on the uh, website, on the developer's own website. I'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, so you can head over there and take a look and get it yourself if you want to. We have a pirate base here. So we will head over in that direction. Whoops. Now out here on the map, you uh, basically control your ship by moving your mouse. Hold down the left mouse button and move your mouse around and the ship will go where your mouse is. Uh, we put in a sustained burn here. Uh, let's see. Let's do a ping. There's something over here. So I just did a quick. What's this? Uh, heavy cruiser. Derelict ship. Let's explore that. You can't. Sometimes you can uh, salvage it or you, you can take the ship but we can't in this case so we'll just begin salvage operations and it has a lot of stuff on it uh, more than we can actually carry so we'll take everything and then we'll head straight back to hegemony base here and sell it off because we're using a lot of supplies per day because we're over cargo and we're over um, where's the base there but we can just don't go there. Uh, we, we both have too much fuel, we have too much cargo, so we'll sell that off. We'll sell that off. Uh, not on the open market though. So that's 1500. Not bad, not bad. And uh, that's all fine and dandy. Let's uh, Head back out and see if we can't find. So here is a hegemony patrol that wants to scan us to see if. Uh... Well, no, they don't. I think I accidentally uh, clicked them. Sometimes they want to scan you to see if you have illegal stuff on you or such kind of stuff, stuff like that. Now let's do a ping. There is nothing out here. Uh, maybe, maybe, whoa, whoa, all right, so the pirates are attacking us, they have a mud skipper, an overdriven combat freighter, and a standard combat freighter, hopefully we are able to, uh, to take these guys out, so uh, let's continue, and we can click space to pause, which is very useful. And then we can go ahead and tell you, you know what, you go capture that. And then we too will go into combat. So you uh, search and destroy, and I will try to pilot my ship. It's not easy, but I'll do my best. So, let's have a look. We don't see them yet. It's a nab way up here. So, hopefully they won't be too far away. Right. Oh, there's one there. Heading down there, I'm going to go head in that direction and help the out the the kite. Uh, you know what? Will you be able to take that out? I hope you will. Let's head down here. And we can phase forward. All right. uh, let's uh, 
Right, so the mud skipper of theirs is down. So he destroyed a ship, which is perfect. And let's get out of here. We need to vent. And put our shields back up. And there's the hound gone. There's one enemy left up this way. Yes. Did we take this? Yeah, we, I think we did. All right, so let's head up and see if we can't find the enemy. Where the hell is he? Let's head over towards the nav buoy. Uh, he's up there. Is he running away, I wonder? Don't fly into each other. Here we go. Whoa! Don't shoot your friend. All right, he's down, and we've won the battle. So that was pretty good. So here we can see we can sh consider ship recovery. There are three ships. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, we can cover the mud skipper with four pips of damage. No, thank you. Let's continue and pick through the wreckage. We'll take everything. What is this? A Hellbar cannon. Not bad. I like that. And the Vulcan cannon is a point defense. The Hellbar cannon is a large ballistic cannon. Does a lot of damage to armor. And we are over our limit here, so I think we'll just drop off uh, some of that. No, actually, we'll take everything and we'll head straight back to... Uh, oh. There's a fleet coming in here as well, which we might be able to do. Now, if we look uh, on the left-hand side of the screen, we got some experience and we got some money for taking out those ships. So we're up to 16,500. Now, if we take a look at our character here, we have one point that we can put into something. And I think I want to put another into technology here so that we can get these leveled up. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then we can take a look at our fleet. You leveled up as well. What can you get? Uh, impact mitigation or defensive systems. Hmm. I think I'll go with defensive systems. Now, if there is a skill that you like when you're leveling up your guy, then take it instead of leveling up something else, uh, because you only get so many skills. Uh, I think the lieutenants here, they can get up to level 20, and so have, get, have like seven different skills, maybe, at, uh, at uh, level three something like that so don't uh, don't level up uh, stuff if there is a skill that you like because you might not see it again and you might just get crap skills so these guys are coming in but our fleet is at a lowered combat readiness so do we want to fight them or do we just want to get out of here ASAP I think the answer is we want to get out of here ASAP. So once I hit space, we want to emergency burn out of here. So, well, um, emergency burn is four. I hit E. So, go, go, go. Uh, we won't be able to get out of there. 
All right, so we'll have to fight these guys. They have combat freighter, combat freighter, combat freighter. All right, let's move in to engage. Uh, we can tell our uh, lieutenant to, to take care of the battle, but we don't want to do that. Well, we can transfer command so we can move over in the, to another ship. We'll deploy everything. And are there any? No, there's no like nav buoys or anything here. Which uh, these points that were there in the last battle, they they give you some uh, some boosts. So we will tell you to search and destroy. We'll tell you to help me because I suck, and we'll go try and do something. So there's a ship there, a ship there, and a ship there. I think we'll go try and take out this guy over here. So, let's... Hmm. let's do two. And get out of there a little bit. And do some venting. There we go. Need to vent some more. We destroyed a hound class something. Well, the uh, the other wolf did. We haven't destroyed anything yet, but we will now. Very good. Now you don't want to be too close to the other ships when they blow up because uh, that will damage you. So. We took out one guy, and the other wolf took out two guys. Got a little bit of credits from that, and we'll take everything again. We got an assault chain gun. That's pretty good. Uh, medium ballistic, and a heavy auto cannon. Not bad, man. Not bad. All right. Confirm and continue. And we made some more money. We made four thousand nine hundred fifty from. Taking out those, we gain some experience and also hegemony like us a little bit better. So all well and good. Let's uh, set a course for Angala. And before we go, we did level up. I actually have two points to use. So I think we'll level up both of these. So Level 2 of negation gives us minus 25% fuel consumption on all ships in the fleet. That is really useful. And then uh, the loadout design gives us uh, an extra 20% uh, flux vents on all ships in the fleet, which uh, is also very useful. So confirm that. And then we can go into the fleet because I'm guessing you leveled up as well. Good. So we can either get the defensive systems or we can get advanced under measures. I think we'll go defense systems level 2 or minus 20% damage taken by shields, minus 25% phase cloak cooldown. Yeah, we'll load you up to that. Then there's uh, Yuhi got two levels up. So here I'm definitely going with ordnance expertise because that's basically more damage. More damage. So level up that and finish so let's go i know that we're using more supplies because we are way 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 over our cargo so we just head to jangala here and repair our ships cost us seven supplies and let's do some trading on the black market uh, so sell all that uh, sell as much as we need to of that we'll keep those and I think we'll buy some supplies uh, we'll buy 25 supplies 
Uh, yeah, confirm. All right, let's uh, have a look at refit because we got some really nice weapons. Uh, can we get put those on anything we can't right now? Uh, Love railgun. You need seven ordnance points to put that on. So if we take you off and do this, then we can put a railgun on. No, why not? Oh, I uh, I went the wrong way. That's why. So railgun. Alrighty. Now, that packs a punch. That packs a punch. Oh, very nice. Weapon groups is fine. And we're fine here. Uh, let's see, do we have swarmers? We do not. All right, never mind then. That's all good. Let's take a shuttle down. What's the academic with the tripod? Oh, he's going to give us a mission to go get at uh, um, AI core, which is highly illegal. Uh, but we can accept it. It isn't timed or anything like that. Uh, so we'll just have the mission. This is kind of a story mission, I think. All right. Let's have a look at Intel. Um, uh, exploration. Derelict ship all the way out there. No. Bounties. We still have hegemony here, but... Yeah, I guess we'll head over to the pirates again and see if there's there are more over there. If not, we'll go over to the independent uh, planet in the star system and take a look at that. But we're going to have to do that all next time, guys, because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying Star Sector. I love it. So, uh, yeah, if you do enjoy it, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.